Moon Dr. John here, helping another customer get unplugged. This one is a 2020, 29 foot ATC front bedroom. Uh, 700 watts of solar on the roof, Victron 3000 watt inverter running the whole trailer. It has a color control installed on it. We eliminated the battery for the Onan. Uh, we were able to get it to start with the two Orions, which was nice. Uh, we're going to do a test here. Uh, this particular unit has one air one thermostat that controls both air conditioners. We're going to start with uh, turning zone one air conditioning on and watch the uh, color control as far as the compressor starting up. So the upper right is your AC loads. Uh, it'll go up to uh, 17, 1600 watts with the AC running. Lower right yellow is your solar coming in. Lower left is your battery. The middle bottom is your DC loads. Under heavy charge or discharge, it will bounce around a little bit. That's Standard. Uh, we've got 700 watts on the roof of solar. Uh, that's the sun power panels I normally use. Had to mount them sideways. A little awkward on the 29 footer. Didn't really have enough room to do what I wanted to do. You can see the upper right how the wattage has jumped up. Uh, the compressor is running right now. I think, to be honest, we've got something else in the background, maybe a fridge or TV, something else, right around two, 300 watts running. But you get the idea. So let's turn on the ceramic heater, and uh, I'll probably put it on low here. So we're going to get a little more of a load and make sure that the inverter can handle it and does not trip out. So right now we're getting about 25, 2600 watts out of it. And at 77 degrees, the inverter is rated at 2600 watts uh, continuous. So should not be a problem here. Uh, I do a mistake here. Notice inverter only on the top. It should be inverter on and that will include the charger to charge the batteries as well. Uh, I'll probably end up speeding this up. I'm starting the generator. Uh, this will show exactly what happens uh, under extreme loads where the battery will kick in for part of it. Again, it won't actually kick on for a little while. I'll speed the video up here. So this is me patiently waiting for the inverter to accept electricity from the generator, which is running, but on inverter only, that just will not happen. Something important to remember if you have a color control. I will uh, stop the video and start the inverter to be on instead of inverter only, and come right back, and here we go. So we're getting the generator to pick up the entire load and put some into the battery as well. Uh, notice on the uh, switch that it will be on inverter on on the bottom instead of inverter only. This does work much better for getting the generator to throughput power. So we're turning the second air conditioner on, zone two. So this will put a whole lot more load on the generator. Let's see where we're at. Uh, still jumping up. Second compressor is not switched on yet. Wait for it. There we go. So the generator is still able to pick up the entire load. I think it'll do about 4,600 watts. I've got it throttled down to 42 amps because that is where the generator will not stumble at most elevations. 
So let's turn some more stuff on. I can uh, turn that little ceramic here on to high. Uh, I think that pulls around 12 to 1300 watts here. So yeah, we're spiking. So we're using more than the generator can provide. And solar batteries is picking up the pieces. Uh, batteries putting in seven amps on the on the left. Solar is putting in 480 ish watts, uh, making everything play well together. Uh, so this is pretty much the end of the test. Uh, I'll shut everything down and we will look at all of the components making this work. We'll start on the driver's side of the front compartment. Uh, the inverter, the Tesla modules, the Victron solar charge controller, uh, the two Orions up on top. Main disconnect, of course. Uh, customer wanted a 20 amp outlet in the front compartment uh, to be able to use electricity right there. Then we come over to the mini BMS. This monitors the six different strings inside of each module. It balances those as they're charging and discharging. It tells you the total voltage. It will cut things off when things are out of tolerance. The two packs are balanced within three millivolts, uh, which is awesome. Can't ask for more than that. Now let's uh, move over to the driver's side. Uh, battery monitor up on top. Breakers for the solar charge controller. And of course, the big piece of the system, the Tesla 10 kilowatt usable modules. Notice all the room we have on the ground with the uh, wires gone. You can haul eight foot stuff without worrying about those. Gives you a lot more room for your stuff, which is the way it ought to be. Next, we're gonna move on up to the roof. Panels had to get mounted sideways. Not quite enough room to go the way I normally do it. Uh, drop a cool on the roof, which helps keep it cool. A little bit of scraping to get the panels to mount, but worked out well. If you need a hand getting unplugged, let me know, and have a great day.